Trade Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya says claims of a plot to assassinate Deputy President William Ruto are part of a witch hunt by his political detractors. At his rural home in Muthara, Maru County, on Saturday, Mr. Munya alluded to the Bible story of Queen Jezebel who plotted to have Naboth murdered over his vineyard. I came home to defend myself because you might think I have become a murderer, he told a funeral. I am here to assure you that I have not changed. I cannot be found in a gathering of murderers. As an Jurinch Kelder, I know how to respect the sanctity of life. This is all made up. It is false witness against me, just like Jezebel did to Naboth because she wanted to grab his vineyard. This is a plot against us but God is with us. This is a political plot. Four cabinet secretaries from the Mount Kenya region were summoned to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, on June 24 over the alleged murder plot. The others are Cicely Kariuki, Health, Joe Mucheru, ICT, and James McCurya, Transport. Mr. Munya said that when he received summons by SMS from DCI boss George Kenetai, he first thought the message was from pranksters at Kamadi Maximum Security Prison. He said they will not record statements until a formal complaint is filed. We insist that we will meet again and again, not only at Hotel La Mata but elsewhere in Kenya because we have a right as Kenyans. We have not plotted to kill anyone but if he records a statement, we will go back to respond. The minister noted that President Uhuru Kenyatta tasked him with coordinating Mount Kenya development talks after legislators decried slow delivery of projects. He said other meetings had been taking place at Weston Hotel and other venues. I first held a meeting with MPs and then called all ministers, parastatal heads and other government officials, all totaling 45. We had met four times before the alleged assassination plot emerged, he said. Earlier, Mr. Munya told off members of parliament, saying they had been politicizing the murder plot claim. Speaking during the burial of Mr. Johnson Killingo. A neighbor, at Ntomaku in Tigania East, he said said politicians should allow institutions to do their work. He also noted that the accused also deserve justice. You cannot give a court ultimatums. The court follows procedures. It is against the law for politicians to give the magistrate ultimatums, he said. Those doing that are not fit to be leaders. The courts should be given time to do their work. 